spoken and phonetics for changes and adult learners. Class 4 Activity Me and You Hello, my name is Muhammad Yasir. What's your name? My name is Zarin Tasnim Priyam. I'm 46 years old. How old are you? I'm 13. I come from Borgona, the southern part of Bangladesh. Where are you from? Well, I'm from the northern part of Bangladesh, Lalmonihat. My father's name is Mr. Monwar. What is your father's name? My father's name is Muhammad Ayub Ali. My mother's name is Noor Jahan Begum. What is your mother's name? My mother's name is Murshida Nihar Jahan. Well, both of our mother's names have Jahan in them, right? Mm -hmm. I have only one brother and no sister. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have the opposite. I have one sister and no brother. I'm a student. What do you do? I'm a student as well. My father is a farmer. What does your father do? My father is a government officer. My mother is a homemaker. What does your mother do? My mother is a government officer as well. I got A plus in my SSC. What was your grade? Well, I just attended PEC, so my grade in PEC was A plus too. Let's talk about our favorite teachers. Mr. Hamid Rahman is my favorite teacher. Who is yours? You are my favorite teacher. I'm blessed to hear that. Now favorite colors. White is my favorite color. What is your favorite color? Black. Jackie Chan is my favorite movie star. Who is your favorite movie star? Well, do you want to hear it from Bollywood, Hollywood or any other specific? And Dollywood too. You want to hear all of them? Mm-hmm. Okay, so from Hollywood, I would say Tom Holland. From Bollywood, I would say late actor Sushant Singh Rajput. And from Dhaliud, um, Sia Mohammed. Uh-huh. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is my favorite person. Who is your favorite person? The same person. I consider him as a friend of my life. You Can Win is my favorite book. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is All the Fields by Olivia Dade. I live in a city called Dhaka. Where do you live? I also live in the same city. I don't wear jeans. How about you? I love wearing jeans. Mm -hmm. I have 10 very close friends. How many friends do you have? I have millions and hundreds and thousands of friends. Ah, that's lovely. Rabindranath Thakur is my favorite poet. Who is yours? Kazi Nazrul Islam. Bappa Majumdar is my favorite singer. Who is yours? Uh -huh. Why do you say the same thing I want to say? Oh, that's cool. I read my religious book regularly. How about you? I also do that whenever I get time to read it, and if I don't, then I read it on my mind. I'm married. What about you? Well, I'm just a student, so I'm not married. I want to learn English to get a good job. Why do you want to learn English? Well, I want to learn English so that I can be successful because we know that English is an international language, and as the topic you said that you want to get a good job by learning English, so my objective is that too. I don't watch TV much. How about you? I also don't watch TV much, but if there are programs related to Islam, then I watch them on TV. I can speak two foreign languages, English and Hindi. How about you? Well, I know three languages, as you know that my mother tongue is Bengali. I also know how to speak in Hindi, and I also know how to speak in English. But now I'm preparing myself to be a polyglot, and I have almost mastered myself in Japanese. Hmm, that's really good. So you are going to be a polyglot, right? Yes. I usually read books and hang out with my best friend, Moshir, in my free time. What do you do in your free time? 
Well, whenever I get free time, I love to sing songs. I love to read interesting books. Of course, they have to be interesting, and I love to draw pictures. If you say, like me, right? No, not like you. Like me. Oh, yeah, I like you. I'm very hardworking, honest, ambitious, and pious. How about you? Well, I'm very cheerful. Very crazy about interesting things, and you can say the last two words that ambitious and pious, and also indolent, right? Yes. I'm very fast in typing. How about you? Are you very fast in typing? I have to admit, I'm faster than you, right? No wrong. I have a Facebook ID. Do you have any Facebook ID? Well, I have a Facebook ID, but I use it for educational purposes. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. I usually use Google to search for information on the net. How do you search for information? Well, as Google is a very like widely used network for searching information on the internet, so I also prefer using Google. I hate smoking. Do you hate smoking? Of course I do. It kills people. Mm hmm. Still, people smoke. Yeah. The people are silly, right? Yeah, it is written on the pack that if you smoke, you're gonna have cancer. But still, people do that. Hmm. I don't usually eat fast food. How about you? Hey, if it's e, then you don't eat kachi biryani. Is it okay? Yeah, I don't like that. If it's e. You have to think of that. So whenever there is any festival, I like to eat food that brings festivity among people. So I don't like most of the time. I don't eat them. I try to be. Uh, I try to make my food nutritious, but sometimes you may eat them, right? Mm -hmm. Not all the time. Yeah, sometimes it's allowed. I'm very loyal. I mean, obedient to my parents. Are you loyal to your parents? Yes, and you also know that whenever my mom talks to you about me, she always says that whatever she tells me to do, I do that. Mm. And uh, basically, you don't have any choice, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate corrupt politician a lot. Do you hate corrupt politicians? Well, if any person, either it may be a politician or a normal person, if they are following the dishonest path. Then they are not in my category. Mm -hmm. I get up early and take physical exercise regularly. It's a lie. How about you? It's a lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, in the pandemic of coronavirus, I became a little lazy. I used to wake up late, and I didn't get any physical exercise at all. But now I'm engaged in different kinds of physical exercise as well as I'm doing karate. And mm, you know, know that. this good. is a very good practice for your physical exercise, for mm. your legs, for your thighs, mm. and for getting self-defense. Uh -huh. And I'm waking up early so that I don't have any sleep deficiency and I don't like build up any more illness in myself. Mm. I sleep eight hours daily. In fact, six hours. How about you? Well, according to doctors, children of my age should sleep at least eight hours. So I try not to sleep less than that, or I try not to sleep more than that. Yeah, we'll not allow you though. I'm good at mathematics. What are you good at? Well, if you say I'm good at mathematics and science and history, and you are good at killing times as well, right? No, I'm good at everything. <laughs> okay. So killing time is also a part of everything, right? Okay. <laughs> Please <laughs> let time leave. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I never love to be alone. Do you love to be alone? Well, I already told you I'm a mixable person, and I love to be around people. I want to be very, very, very rich. Do you want to be very rich? Sir, in the book there is only one very. I just I gave the emphasis. Well, I want to be rich, but in an honest way, absolutely. Of course, no harm in it. Yeah. I have not visited any foreign countries yet. Have you? High five. Hmm. Actually, I visited one. I Which one? Which one? The India. Uh, oh, I, you should have 
You should have taken me there. Yeah, we will go together. Okay, when inshallah. When you complete five books writing, we'll go together to India. What? Yeah, only five Such books. Such a tough deal. Yeah, no, it's not tough. It's easy if you take it. Yeah, I know. I can finish a book in just one month. Yeah, you can. Number 42 then. I want to be an entrepreneur. What do you want to be? Are you stealing what I want, I'm trying to say? Mm hmm You're stealing that, right? Yeah, because I, I read your mind. You want to be an entrepreneur you're too? A, you're a mind reader. Mm. Yeah, I want to be an entrepreneur too. Yeah, because we want to create jobs. Mm -hmm. I can tell you a lot of jokes in English. How about you? Don't tell me those are limericks. Not the limericks, the jokes. Okay, so I, tell me one. Okay, I'll tell you one after I finish the okay. lesson. I don't support child marriage. Do you support it? Never in a million years. <laughs> I use Samsung handset. Which brand do you use? Redmi. Redmi? Or you can say <laughs> Xiaomi. <laughs> no, the brand's name is Xiaomi as well as Redmi. Okay, read okay. me. Yeah, read me or you? Okay. Yeah, someone read my mind. Oh, yeah. That means read me. That means you are the read me, okay? Okay. Because you read my mind a lot, lot ago. I mean, a few seconds ago. I have a personal computer. Do you have any personal computer? Well, I do have a PC, but I also do have a laptop, though. Okay. I strongly believe in God. How about you? Hey, I have to do that. Because whenever we have no one, we have him. So, I strongly believe in him. Mm -hmm. I shall never take bribe. I mean, dishonest, illegal money. Will you ever take bribe? Will you give money now if I tell you to do? That will not be bribe. That will be a gift. Or if I say that, uh, man, if you now give me money, I'll make you the richest person in the world. Will you give me? I'll consider it. Will I take it? Well, if it is a gift, you can take. But uh, let's suppose you're not giving me it as a gift, mm -hmm. as bribe. Okay. So what do you think? Will I take it? You'll not take the bribe and I'll offer it. So, so he al always knows what kind of a person I am. But mm. this question wasn't necessary, but I shall never take bribe. It's really dishonest. I always told you that I follow the honest path. I can sacrifice my life for my beloved country, Bangladesh. Can you do the same? Oh my God. If I was born in the 1971, or if I was able to fight in 1971 for our country, I would definitely be the first female freedom fighter. I can eat green chili, very spicy green chilies. Can you do the same? I can eat 10 red chilies. Uh... The toys chilies. Not no, the no, 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 no. If you mix those ten chilies with, with sugar, pantabhat. With sugar. <laughs> no, with pantabhat. Oh, okay. Then I can eat that, really? but not bite them on my own. And, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Now the next activity. Why English is hard to learn? This is a poem. It's okay. a very funny poem. We'll read one line, one line, right? Okay. I'll go for the first line. Okay. Uh, We'll begin with box. The plural is boxes. But the plural of ox is oxen, not oxes. One fowl is a goose and two are called geese. Yet the plural of moose is never called mees. You may find a lone mouse or a house full of mice. But the plural of house is houses, not eyes. The plural of man is always men. But the plural of pen is never pen. Crazy. If I speak of a foot and you show me your feet. And I give you a book, would a pear be a beak? No way. If one is a tooth and a whole set of teeth. Why shouldn't two booths be called beef? If the singulars, this and the plural is these. Should the plural of kiss be ever called keys? No. We speak of a brother and also a brethren. But though we say mother, we never say mothering. Then, the masculine pronoun are he, his and him. 
But imagine the feminine she, she's and shim. Isn't English a crazy language? It is. It is. Thanks for listening. Well, now we're going to learn what tongue twisters. Um, uh, what are tongue twisters? Well, actually, these are a combination of few words that almost pronounce the same and whenever you try to pronounce them together you feel contractions or you feel disturbance or sometimes you just stop telling the sentence because you feel tough well what are tongue twisters for actually like whenever you master a tongue twister you master pronouncing same kinds of words in a very fast way and this helps you in your fluency like if you have mastered a tongue twister and if you say it in a few seconds then definitely you are a fluent speaker so tongue twisters help us in becoming fluent speakers so today i'm going to present two tongue twisters to tell the truth i know the first tongue twister from a long time ago but i don't know the second one but i'll try to do it anyway so i'll tell the tongue twisters at first slow then I'll try to go a little bit faster. So the first tongue twister is called Peter Piper. It's about Peter Piper who picked a pick of pickled peppers. And if he would pick a pack of pickled peppers, then where are those pack of pickled peppers which he picked? So I just explained it. Now let's see how it is said or how it is said in a slow mode. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers a peck of pickled peppers peter piper picked if peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers where's the peck of pickled peppers peter piper picked well i know it is really easy to say this in a very low tone or a very low mood now let's try to say it in a faster way so don't think that I'm the one only telling this. You can also try with me. And even if you can't do it in the first time, don't worry. Because I, when I started doing tongue twisters, I could not accomplish it in the first time. I tried again and again, practiced day by day, and then I mastered. I have still not mastered yet. I'm trying still. So let's try the faster way. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. A pick of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers, where's the pick of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Ah, oh, I just cannot breathe properly when I say the tongue twisters. Okay, let me say again. In three, two, one. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. A pick of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers, where's the pick of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Now this is flawless, according to me. So, the next tongue twister is, how many cookies could a good cook cook? So, it says that how many cookies can a good cook cook? So, it's a story related to a good cook cooking how many cookies, okay? So, I'll say the slow pace first. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Whoa, I need inspiration. Is there someone to inspire me, sir? Uh, yes, yeah, someone is there. So uh, who is that someone? Yeah, that's someone, right. Uh, okay, so you, you, you are the tongue twisters, right? I did not finish the cookies yet, but I'm very nervous about doing that. Okay, why don't you buy cookies for me before you practice that? When will I go to the shop and when will I buy it? I'm in a radio. Oh, wow, yeah. So after this recording, you'll buy cookies for me, right? Okay. I'll pray for you. But then. until then, my recording will be stopped. Uh, you do it. Give, give it your best version. Okay. So, in three, two, one. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook cook could cook, 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 cook? What? Again, how many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook cook could cookies? A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Well, again, try the third try. 
How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies, better than before.、Mm. And shall I try again? You should. Okay. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook 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 cookies? A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Now it's the best. Okay. Yeah. So you see.、Uh, You, if you practice、uh, time and again, you actually get your best version, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't you, don't you think that this、uh, tongue twisters will help somebody or the listeners, the learners, to improve their fluency? Of course, I told it in the beginning that if you master yourself in tongue twisters, because in your English sentences. There will be not that much rhyming words,、mm. not that much similar words, but in tongue twister you are mastering similar words at a time. So in f- English, normal English, you can say anything fluently, right? And these are twisted, artificially made sentences,、yeah. which are really difficult.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. So thank you for listening. Bye bye. Bye.